What is going on my haunted followers? I would like to say welcome to my subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. These are three Skinwalker stories that I didn't get to include in the original Skinwalker video. So I thought that this would be sufficient until next week for you guys. So here are three Skinwalker encounter stories. Before we get into that, if you have not done so and you're watching this video, please like and subscribe. Down at the bottom, I upload videos every Friday. Sit back and prepare to get scared. It's always hard to believe in something you never see. Well, that was my outlook on anything paranormal. However, that has since changed. This event happened back in 2010. Now, I only share this story now as I've shared it with other YouTubers in hopes I can eventually come to terms with it. I warn you though, this story is not for the weak. Again, this took place back in 2010. At that time, I was living with my mom and my stepfather. We lived in a pretty secluded location as the town we lived in was pretty rural. Now, I am very used to wildlife in the backyard and all around. Deer, moose, bear, coyote, you name it. It was around 3 a.m. I had to let my dog out, which he was a small terrier. He always needed to go to the bathroom at 3 a.m. for some reason. He would start by pacing back and forth, so I would have to let him out. He wouldn't ever go far, just to the tree line, to pee under his favorite tree and run back to me. So that night, I let him out, and all of a sudden, he just bolted for the woods. Something he never does. I yelled for several times at him. At first, I thought, eh, he'll come back. However, after several minutes, it became apparent that he wasn't. So, reluctantly, I grabbed my flashlight and headed towards the woods. It's not really thick, but those woods do go on for miles. I started to walk into the woods, and I was maybe 80 to 90 feet in, and this whole time I'm calling his name. Jackson! Come here, boy! And that's when... I, I found Jackson. He was laying on the ground, shaking, and it looked like he had gotten attacked by something. He had a good amount of blood on his hip. I, I was so frightened. I carefully picked him up and ran for the house. I didn't want to run into whatever had attacked him. I woke my parents and we rushed him to the local animal hospital. Luckily, he survived. When I asked the vet what did this, he was unsure because a little dog his size would have definitely been a meal for any wild animal out there. Weeks pass and Jackson come back to his normal self. However, he would never go near those woods ever again. One night, again, taking on Jackson, Jackson ran out the door then completely froze, staring into the woods. I was like, hey buddy, it's okay. But that's when I caught a glimpse of something. And I say, something. It looked like a deer, but it was all patchy, and its skin looked slimy and rotting. It had these incredible, sharp-looking teeth with these extremely long arms. It looked like someone just attached these random parts to something. I, I screamed and ran inside, waking my parents. But they didn't believe me. No one believed me. I looked back out the window before I went to bed and this thing was gone. I haven't seen it since and it's been quite some time. Can anyone explain to me what I saw? Hello Unexplained, I love your videos by the way and I hope that you share my story. I'm actually from Ireland and although back in the states you guys call them skinwalkers, here we call them puka. This happened to me when I was about 12, yet I haven't forgotten a single detail. When I was walking home from school, I was by myself. Now, I don't live too far from the school, and sometimes I would cut through the forest just because. I have never had an issue. 
So I was just walking, and I actually think I was skipping, singing some Backstreet Boys song or some Silly Boy Band at that time, when I smelled something awful. I grew up on a farm, so I know what a bad smell smells like. And I know what a dead animal smells like, on the account that we once found a dead rat that had been sitting in a water jug for weeks. Sorry for the description, everyone. But my nose instantly went there. I thought, eh, some animal died in the woods. Not a common. So I kept on walking. But that's when I caught sight of something standing about 30 feet in front of me on the trail. Which I can only describe as half lamb, half goat. But the head, it looked like it had been sitting there and rotting for weeks. I could actually see the flies flying around it. Sorry, these these descriptions get grosser, and I do apologize. But it started walking towards me, growling like an animal I've never heard growl before. Like, it was trying to force to growl, and became quickly exhausted. That's my best description. So... I screamed, screamed like I never screamed before. This thing just took off as fast as I've ever seen anything run. I can't even explain just how fast it ran. So I ran home and told my gran and granny about it. They just looked at me and said, thank goodness child that you're alive. You just saw a puka. I was like, what? But they wouldn't tell me anything more. And to this day, they never actually got anything out of them. I have obviously done my research, and I don't know why I survived, but I'm glad I did. I just don't understand why it didn't attack me. I hope that you enjoyed my story. Thanks, I explained. It's entirely up to you to believe my story or not as I can't force anyone to do that, but I have no reason to make it up. This happened to me in December. One morning, I had awoken to snow on the ground, not uncommon from my location. I also like to point out that I live in the middle of nowhere, which I love. I was just standing there looking out my kitchen window drinking my coffee, when I noticed red stuff all over the backyard. At first, I actually thought it was paint. So, I walked outside to find a rather gruesome scene. I found blood, fur, and then a deer's leg. Now, I know of no animal that can actually do this to a deer. And I never found a carcass. I just shook it off thinking maybe it was actually a pack of coyotes. That night, I was watching the news just kicking at my feet when I heard a crazy commotion outside. It sounded like a deer was getting attacked. I jumped up, grabbed my shotgun from the safe, and went to my back door. I quickly paused. Maybe 20 feet from my back door was standing this thing. This is my description, at best. It was a deer, standing on its hind legs. It had these massive antlers that came up, then back down its body. I could make out a rib cage, but it had these long, sharp teeth. Well, all my haunted followers, I hope that you enjoyed those three stories. They were short, and this is a short video. But hopefully, again, this will be enough until I will be able to post next week. Again, next week, I am looking for encounters with demons or evil spirits. I've already gotten one story in so far, so let's keep them coming. I would like to do ten stories, but if we have to keep it at five, that's also good, too. But, um, you know, again, these skinwalker stories, they blow my mind. And I think the reason that they blow my mind is people are seeing something. I'm, I'm not saying that these stories are made up by any means. If they are, they're pretty good stories. But if they are, are legitimately seeing something, it, these descriptions depict something out of this world. It, it blows my mind what these things may or may not be. I've never seen one. I thought I think you know. I thought I've seen something, but not into this detail that some people are seeing. The last story really, really uh, blew me away because you know he he saw what the skinwalkers might possibly can do if they're 
if they have the ability to do that to a deer, what if, what what they could do to us is is, is mind blowing. It's frightening. So I hope that you guys like the stories. Again, next week, looking for um, encounters with uh, demons or evil spirits. Send those stories into Alex U N E one hundred one. Uh, I also have a Reddit. Check that out on Explained Films thirteen, and you can find us follow me on Twitter. So let's get those stories. Again, I have one story up, so let's keep those keep them going. As always, guys, happy hauntings. <laughs>